Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In a previous video I showed you how alerts can automatically notify you when prices change from imported products from AliExpress, eBay, and other one-click supported vendors. That allowed you to look at the changes and adjust prices based on how much prices increased or decreased, and it's a really cool feature. But what if you wanted to avoid the hassle entirely and just have Dropified handle all of these price changes for you? Well, luckily, we have a feature just for that. But how do we access it? Well, first we log into the Dropify dashboard, and we go to Settings. And this is going to bring us to our Universal Settings. And we scroll down to where it says Alerts. So we have a few different options on what we can do. So when the price changes, we can either be notified, we can update the price in the store or do nothing. Same for when a product disappears. We can choose to unpublish it entirely, which might be the option because you don't want people placing orders for products that don't exist. Or you can keep the product published, but you can change the quantity to zero, making it sold out. When an order is canceled, you can always notify yourself or do nothing. When inventory changes, you can set it to update automatically, that might be a good one to have. When a variant disappears, definitely remove the variant or set the quantity to zero to show you once sold it. It's really up to you. Or you can set it to send alerts to sub-users as well, so that way anybody who has access to your store can get the update as well, and they can adjust accordingly if you're tied up at the moment, or vice versa. So you can always turn that on. But basically, all of these let you take the work out of updating it yourself if you don't want to be as hands-on or you just want it solved for you. You can always do these different things. And so one thing that's interesting is when you set the price changes to update price and store automatically, a new option is going to show up where you can choose the update method. So you can change according to the global markup price that you set up here, and this was a very drastic number to mark up. This was just an example I used in a previous video. But if you set it to the price update method, it's going to update in according to whatever you have set up at the top. Or you can set it with advanced markup rules, which will essentially let you set that up here, and these will let you set specific rules for different products and you can set maximums and minimums and things like that so that's going to be a really cool thing you can do as well if you want that to do that or you can just update with the same margins and keep it pretty simple for yourself so yeah you can go in here and set these up to the way you want it to be shown and how it handles the product price changes and the variant products so basically all you're going to have to do is go through and figure out what you want Dropify to do. If you just want to be very hands-on, you can set it so that you're always notified and you can handle it, or you can be really hands-off and let Dropify do all the work for you, which is really up to you. But it's a really cool thing that we offer in the sense that you really get a very big choice in how you want this to be handled. But that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions or wanna request a video that we can do in the future, leave it in the comments down below. And if you never want to miss a video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it to make sure that you never miss an upload. But until next time, I've been Riley with Dropified. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.